Let's look at subtraction to 100 using a hundreds chart. When we subtract on a hundreds chart, we move one to the left if we're subtracting one. So here you can see we're at 35. We subtract one by moving one to the left. And you'll notice that the numbers are getting smaller. So this question, 87 minus four equals what? We start on 87, we subtract the four ones by moving one to the left each time, one, two, three, four, and the answer is 83. When we subtract 10 on a hundreds chart, we move up one row. So here we are at 63, we subtract 10 by moving up one row. And as you can see again, the numbers are getting smaller. So that lets us know that we are subtracting. In this example, 71 minus 40, we start on 71 and we subtract four tens because there's a four in the tens place. Start on 71, subtract one, two, three, four tens. And the answer is 31. In this example, 35 minus 34, we're going to start on 35 and then the 34 has tens and it has ones. So we're going to start subtracting the tens. There are three tens. Start on the 35, subtract three tens, one, two, three. And now we're going to subtract the four ones, one, two, three, four. So 35 minus 34 equals one. Let's try a question with regrouping. I love the hundreds chart for regrouping. Uh, it makes regrouping really simple. So in this question, 78 minus 59, we're going to start on the 78 and we are going to subtract the five tens. One, two, three, four, five. Here we are on 28. Now we're going to subtract the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we only got to seven. Now we are going to have to continue, and to do that, we're going to have to go up one line. As we know, 21 is one less, or sorry, 20 is one less than 21. So we're going to keep going. We've already done seven, and we need to subtract nine. So here's seven, eight, nine. So the regrouping that happened there was just switching lines. And if you're following the number sequence, you'll know where to go. If you're on 21 and you're subtracting, you're going to go to 20. So 78 minus 59 equals 19. You can print out a hundreds chart or use an interactive hundreds chart online to try out this strategy. Here are some subtraction questions you, for you to work on. Uh, I think that the hundreds chart is the perfect place to start with subtraction because it gives you a bit of an idea of what's happening.